Hi, I'm Margaret and welcome to Garden School. Today, I'm camping out on the Olympic Peninsula and the area where I'm camping, the dominant trees are Douglas fir and the western red cedar. And the understory, the dominant plants, are the rhododendron and the evergreen huckleberry. But there are quite a few very interesting plants in this environment. Many of them, or quite a handful of them, are what we call saprophytic. That means they don't produce chlorophyll. Well, how do they get their energy? Well, a saprophyte uses the mycorrhizae of fungi in the soil to get their nutrients. This is one of the saprophytic plants that we find here, Monotropa uniflora, and it has no chlorophyll that it produces itself. Instead, it gets its nutrients from the mycorrhizae of fungi beneath the soil. Now in the forest here, there's just got to be a massive network of fungi mycorrhizae. We've seen so many different varieties of mushrooms and fungi on this just couple days here in this location. So the common names of these plants are the ghost pipe, spotted coral root, which is actually an orchid, the ground cone, the gnome plant, candy stick, and pine sap. Another name for these saprophytic plants is mycotrophic. That means fungus feeder. Now, while the mycotrophic plants get their nutrients from the mycelium of the fungus, the fungus gets its nutrients from a symbiotic relationship with the large trees. This is just a wonderful place to explore the biology of this area, the botany, as well as the animal species too. Um, so as I say, there's always more to learn in the garden and in the woods. Bye-bye.